There is no doubt about it, the German Shepherd is one of the most popular guard dog breeds on the planet and for very good reason. This beautiful athletic dog is not only an outstanding natural guardian and protector, but also an extremely capable service and sport dog. Now in today's video we're going to discuss some of the amazing temperament traits and characteristics of the wonderful German Shepherd in detail. Welcome back to the Femria German Shepherd Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Will, I'm a canine behaviorist and I'm the founder and CEO of FenriaCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything that you could possibly ever want to know about the incredible German Shepherd, then how to become a high level canine leader that can raise perfect German Shepherd companions. So if you love the German Shepherd as much as we do here at Fenrir, don't forget to start by hitting that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so that you never miss a future German Shepherd video. So let's dive into today's video and we'll take a look at the German Shepherd's amazing temperament. For this end, we're going to be delving into the breed's natural guarding behaviours as well as its intelligence and trainability. But before we can do that, let's explore the origins of this multi-talented canine athlete because it's those histories, origins and why they were bred originally that informs the incredible temperament that we see today. So the dog we know today as the German Shepherd has been developed by a former cavalry officer and renowned dog breeder, Maximilian von Stefnitz, or Max von Stefnitz. He started his project of creating the most reliable and enduring sheep herding dog possible in 1889. First, he created a standard for the new breed. Then, whilst attending a dog show in the southern German city, his attention was caught by a medium-sized dog of wolf-like appearance. This dog embodied to perfect the primal canine type that Max was looking for, supple yet powerful and built for endurance. As he inquired further, von Stefnitz was intrigued to learn that the dog was a working sheep herder and had required next to no training in order to excel at his task. Delighted about his find, von Stefnitz brought the dog and named him Horund von Graff. This legendary canine is the ancestor of all the German shepherds that we see today. Now the rest is history and the breed has long since surpassed that original role. Today Germany's most popular dog is used in many different fields including police service, search and rescue, canine sports and last but not least sheep herding. German Shepherds are superb natural guardians as well as loyal active companions. And before we wrap up that quick discussion of the German Shepherd's history, it is worth taking note of a little known detail that, however, can provide valuable insight into the breed's natural guarding behaviours. Contrary to many other sheep herding breeds like the Border Collie, Rough Collie or Australian Sheepdog, German Shepherds were not only tasked with herding, but also with guarding those flocks. From early on in the breed's history, it was their job to protect the sheep from predators roaming the countryside, such as wolves, other dogs and humans. Hey guys, very quickly, I just wanted to interrupt and let you know about our boot camp program if you've never heard of it before. It's the program that as a canine behaviorist, I use every single day with all of the clients and all of the bad behavior cases that I work with to high levels of success. It is focused on teaching you how to become a high level canine leader that is able to restructure the relationship with your dog so that they see you as that leader and they know to look up to you for guidance and direction. When we achieve that, we can then finally address those bad behavior problems and get to the point of having the perfect canine companion that you've always dreamed of. So if you want more information about our bootcamp program, the link will be down in the description box below. But until then, let's get back to the video you were just watching. Now then, let's take a deeper look into the breed's natural behaviour as protectors of their owners and their owner's property. Centuries of selective breeding have shaped and refined this innate guarding behaviour of these dogs. Their original role as sheep herders and flock guardians makes them predisposed to staying close to their herd and to attack anything or anyone coming near them with unfriendly intentions, which can also explain why these dogs tend to stay around their owners and on their property even in the absence of fences surrounding that land. Now, contrary to many other breeds, German Shepherds are not prone to roaming, and then many people believe that this kind of innate desire is the cause of that. What also sets them apart from other breeds is their 
active guarding behavior. Now, what exactly do we mean by active guarding behavior? Well, if we look at the giant flock guardian or mastiff breeds who are derived from the ancient Greek Molossus hounds, we see a distinct type of guarding behavior, which can be classed as defensive. This means that the dog will rarely outright an attack an intruder, be that intruder human or another animal. Rather than charge forward, the dog will assume a defensive position by putting its body between that of the threat and the people, animals, or the property that it is defending. This posturing is usually accompanied by loud growling and barking in an effort to discourage the intruder from approaching any further. Now, the German Shepherd, on the other hand, tends to take more of an active approach when faced with a threat to their flock owners or property, which basically means that they will run towards the threat and engage it in physicality. This natural predisposition makes the breed a natural high achiever in law enforcement and military roles, which includes effectively stopping a threat by means of charging it down, biting and apprehending it. Now, this tendency helps to explain why the dog is more likely to attack people than other breeds are, and why it is them who cause the highest number of bites which require medical attention. However, with all that said, this does not mean that your German Shepherd is going to become a menace to society by trying to bite anyone and everyone who might want to approach you or your house. The reason why the vast majority of German Shepherds are very safe dogs lies in yet another outstanding feature of this breed, and that is their outstanding intelligence and trainability. German Shepherds are incredibly intelligent, versatile and trainable. These characteristics make them not only ideal police and military service dogs, but they also excel in search and rescue, sporting dogs and assistance dogs. German Shepherds are more intelligent and at the same time far easier to train and handle than other popular guardian breeds like even the Rottweiler and the Doberman. Now in fact they have been ranked third for intelligence behind Border Collies and Poodles and have been able to learn simple tasks after only five repetitions. Also, German Shepherds are generally much more forgiving than breeds like Rottweilers or any of the giant livestock guardian breeds like the Great Pyrenees or the Caucasian Shepherd, which is due to their immense eagerness to please their owners. Should you make a mistake in your training, the German Shepherd's dog's nature will allow you to correct this mistake with relative ease, whereas other breeds can respond with aggression towards any kind of corrective behavior modification programs. Now, in terms of their exercise requirements, German Shepherds are right up there with the other well-known working and guardian breeds like the Boxer or the Doberman or the Belgian Malinois, which means they need a lot of physical and mental stimulation on a daily basis. Obedience drills, long walks, runs off leash, vigorous play sessions, and of course, lots and lots of socialization throughout the entirety of the dog's life to prevent that undue or unwanted aggression we mentioned earlier. And again, as we're speaking of long walks and runs off leash, it is important to consider that German Shepherds have an extremely high prey drive, which makes them prone to chasing not only the odd cat or rabbit, but also things like deer or wild boar. Two German Shepherds working together can easily take down one of those prey, and depending where you live, such behaviour can get your dog shot by hunters or other landowners. Now, here is again where the obedience training comes in. Provided you have trained it well, you can pin your German Shepherd to the ground with a down command and even after it has started that pursuit. Now, of course, this works best when they are trained into the dog from an early age onwards by a calm, consistent leader. Now, also, we should always remember that the creator of this superb working breed built his line on a designated active working dog. Over the centuries, this so-called Western German Shepherd working line has continued and reliably, reliably produced highly effective working dogs, sport and service dogs. Even today, working line German Shepherds markedly exceed the capabilities of their show line counterparts when it comes to their natural alertness, eager to work and sky high energy levels. Working line German Shepherds do not make good house pets. They are far too intense and driven to just calmly settle down in one spot in the house for hours on end. Now, of course, exceptions from the rule exist and decent even apartment dogs can come from working line litters. And in such cases, temperament selecting the calmest, most introverted puppy is probably quite advisable.
Now, to summarise, we can say that the German Shepherds are excellent working guard and personal protection dogs, keen, alert and naturally protective of their owners and their owner's property. And whilst they should be provided with direction and guidance by an experienced, calm, consistent leader, they are extremely easy and then incredibly fun to train. Now, I hope you enjoyed that quick overview of the German Shepherd's temperament and where that temperament comes from. And hopefully that might be able to inform whether the German Shepherd is a perfect dog breed for you. If you did enjoy the video, please hit that thumbs up button. And don't forget, if you are new here, to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. We've got two dedicated German Shepherd videos coming to this channel every single week. So I can't wait to speak to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir German Shepherd Show.